Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an automation specialist with es &E. In this video segment, we will go over the hardware options that utilize Studio 5000 Logic Designer software. We will also quickly touch on the firmware that is associated with the hardware and how that pertains to the software. Before we jump into our content, es &E offers online training through YouTube. Please like and subscribe to the es &E TV YouTube channel for how-to applications and other automation content. There are two product lines currently that utilize Studio 5000 software. The first product line will be the Compact Logics controllers, which then has a subset of five different style controllers. The Compact Logix 5370 product family all start with a part number of 1769, but there are three specific controller classes in that product family. The smallest option is the L1 series, which has an integrated power supply, embedded I.O., and point I.O. as the expansion I.O. The next option is the L2 series, which also has an integrated power supply and embedded I.O., but uses 1769 expansion I.O. The last series is the L3 controllers, which is a totally modular format, meaning that you will need to buy each piece individually. For example, you need to buy the power supply, the controller, and all the I.O. separately. The next Compact Logix family is the 5380, and it is a major performance upgrade over the 1769 catalog. Part numbers for the 5380 all start with 5069 and feature dual gigabit ethernet ports and can be set up for separate IP addresses or bridged with the same IP address for DLR or linear topology. The 5069 also features its own I.O. cards that are a significantly smaller form factor compared to the 1769 I.O., along with enhanced programming and diagnostic capabilities. If you need functions and capabilities that are beyond the 5380, you can look to use the 5480 family. The 5480 family part numbers also start with 5069, but it stands out on its own because it has a Windows 10 PC built into the controller. The 5480 was created for applications that need high speed computation or local OPC UA servers. But the options are not limited to those two specific instances as many people find other uses for these controllers. The second product line is the Control Logix controllers, which is the flagship product for Rockwell. Control Logix is different than the Compact Logix because it has increased capabilities as well as a fixed chassis size. Control Logix is also split into two version controllers. The first product family is 5570 and the second is 5580. Both product families start with 1756 part numbers but the 5570 controllers are L7 and the 5580 controllers are L8. The L8 controllers utilize the new software revisions and have the same increased performance and capability as the 5380 platform. The 5380 and 5580 product families have also expanded the GuardLogic safety controller options by providing a scalable safety controller solution. Both product lines offer a SIL2 and SIL3 rated controller and considering 85% of all manufacturing equipment only requires a SIL2, that makes the new product lines better suited for more applications. When working with any Logix 5000 controller, they all have the options to integrate safety, networking, and motion. When looking to size your controller, Ethernet connections and I.O. count will help you drive you to an appropriate controller. Rockwell has made the integration of all their equipment as seamless and easy as possible from adding Kinetics drives, PowerFlex VFDs, or remote I.O. That is all possible with an improved hardware capabilities as well as the Studio 5000 Logix Designer software. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your local es and &E account manager or automation specialist.